So we're going to be talking about solving right triangles. This is 8.6. And to solve a right triangle, you simply find all the missing pieces. So if it asks you to solve a right triangle, you need to know the measures of all the angles and all the sides. We're going to use our calculators again. So if you'll make sure your calculator is out again, which it probably already is. Do we need to be on um, sections um, like this? Yeah, but do you have any, do you have homework pages on that one? Um, for 8.6? Yeah. I have um, homework pages on it, but it looks... Like it covers everything from the past two lessons. It look like any All right, in the past, when you had, when we were doing something on your calculator, you had something like sine 62 or some angle measure there. Now we're going to go backwards and we're going to find the missing angle. And we're going to do this using your calculator. But you can't type anything in. You can't take the sign of something because you don't know what it is. But you have um, an inverse sign button or a go backwards sign button. And I'm going to, um, everybody should have a second button on your, on your screen. Somewhere on there. It's either a 2ND or maybe, it, maybe, I don't even think, but it's a second. Does it, does everybody find that button? Oh, I mean, like, like the thing that lets you go to, like, the yellow numbers on the picture. Yes, exactly. That's, and, and I've, I've kind of um, highlighted it on the calculator, and yours should be right where I, mine, I circled, Amy. Um, mine is, whoa, wait a second. Sort of, just mine's reversed. Like, your calculator looks reversed. Oh, my calculator is, that's what I thought it looked backwards. My calculator is backwards. Well, All right. on the other one, it wasn't. I know. I don't know what happened. So you have a sine, cosine, and tangent button. And so when you're going to type this in, you're going to first hit that second button, then the sine button, and then the point six. That's called inverse sine. You're actually, it's telling you that you want to find the angle that equals point six. And I think on your calculator, it should even look like maybe like that when you have typed oh, yeah. it in. Okay. I got 36.7 if you round it, or I meant... Yeah, what is your instructions on your homework say to round it to? Are we doing number one? Okay. Just the nearest degree. Okay, so then you're going to make it to the nearest degree. So you said 30 how much? 36.8. Um, 36.8, so then it'll be 37, right? And don't what? forget. Wait, are we rounding one point? Wait. To the nearest degree. No, no, it's, um, it's 36.8. No, you're gonna not. You're gonna round it to the nearest whole number. So you're gonna round it to thirty-seven. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Let's do the next one. All right. So we already found the second key and your sign button, and it looked like this. It was thirty thirty-six point eight, and we rounded it to thirty-seven. Right. So we found A. Let's do another one. Tangent A equals 1.3. We're actually looking for the A this time, so we have to use that second button. Second tangent. When it's on your screen, it should look like that. And what'd you get, Brett? 52. 52. Did everyone's round to 52? That's what I got. Yes. Okay. Yes, 52.4314, and my it rounds to 52. Let's do the next one. Now, this time, it's going to be in a fraction, and you need to put that that parentheses around it. You all have parentheses all right. buttons in there. I got 27. 27. Does anybody agree with that? Oh, I agree. 27. That's what everybody else got. Yes. Okay. Is it rounds to 27.3? Yes. All right. You already um, have done the first part of those. Those are, again, just type them in your calculator. So you need to remember, though, that when you're looking for the angle, you have to use your second button. If you're, if you're t told you want to know, like, tangent of 62, you just type that directly in. All right, this is, um, this is a little bit of a review what I did um, last presentation. 
I want you to notice that all the angle measures are uppercase. What, based on what I told you last time, what will I name that one? A lowercase g, and then this one? Lowercase. Very good, and that one? Lowercase. Very good. All right. The sides will be lowercase, and then they'll be the, they will correspond with each other. So yes, I will have a g, lowercase g, j, and h. Number nine, we're gonna use what we did um, last time with sine, cosine, and tangent, but we might have to do this in two steps. This is not one of those ones that we had before where we had an altitude to a right triangle where we can use the geometric mean. We have to find x, but it might be difficult because we don't know anything about this triangle at all. But it is attached to this triangle over here. We do know that this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And if we can find this side here, we can multiply by 2 to get that one over here. How can we find this angle right here using sine, cosine, or tangent? If we're looking at this triangle over here, is this blue side opposite or adjacent or the hypotenuse to the 50? Opposite. I heard opposite and I heard adjacent. Which is it? It's adjacent. It's adjacent. Okay, so, and we know this one, which is the opposite. Which one is opposite and adjacent? Is that sine, cosine, or tangent? Tangent. Tangent. So we're going to do tangent of 50 equals what over, I'm going to call this y. What over what? Y over 9. I heard y over 9. Is that how it's going to work? 9 over y because it's opposite over adjacent. That's correct. It's going to be 9 over y. Okay. And then you can do the means and extremes. Yes. By the way, we're doing number 9. I hope you guys are, oh, Yes, we're going to switch these two. 9, excuse me, y equals 9 over tangent 50. Your instructions say to keep how many decimals on that first step? So the t just one decimal then? Okay. So you're in your calculator, you're going to type in 9 divide tangent 50. Are you going to use the second key on your calculator this time? No. No. no that's correct. So you're just going to type in 9 tangent 50. And what did you get for y? 7.6. 7.6. So this right here, that y is 7.6. <laughs> How are we going to use that to find x? This is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. You know the opposite of the 30 times 2. So on your calculator, just I think if you guys just hit the times button right now and 2, it'll bring up that last thing you had in there. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so you're going to have to type in 7.6 times 2. I heard 15.1. 15.2. Did you just type in plain old 7.6 or did you type in the big long decimal? I didn't type in the big long decimal. I did 7.6. And then, so is it 15.2 or 15.1? I did 7.6 times 2, and I got 15.2. What did you get, Heidi? I did the same thing and got the same. Okay, so 15.2. Do you understand how, Brett? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. All right. You're going to have to use everything in the last th couple lessons to do these problems. They're going to be multiple-step problems. That was number 9. Let's do number 10. We have a special triangle in here. Is it a 30, 60, 90 or a 45, 45, 90 triangle? 45, 45, 90. I agree. It is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Here we go. If this is X, how is that going to help us to find X? 45 is adjacent to X, and then the dotted line would be opposite. Yes. So what do we know about this side? 
the blue side and the green side. What what's the relationship between those two sides? They're the, they're the same thing. They, yes, this is also X. Yes. Okay. On the fifty nine, is this the opposite or adjacent? So the to the fifty nine. To the fifty nine, it's adjacent. You and this. And the 50, is that opposite adjacent hypotenuse? What is that? So we had adjacent and hypotenuse. Is that sine, cosine, or tangent? Oh, so cosine. All right. So we're going to do cosine. What angle? 59. All right. Equals what over what? X over 50. Yes. This is really only going to take one step because you had to realize that since it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, that X was the same in both. All right, what are we going to do to solve that for X? You're going to, like, multiply it by 50. So yes. it's going to be 50 cosine um, 59 equals X. And what did you guys get when you put it in your calculator? 25.8. Please verify that. 25.8. All right, what about you, Heidi? Same? All right, fantastic. Two, these are going to take all the stuff we've learned to be able to do it. All right, let's do number 11 together. This one is neither of 30. Did we finish that? Did, did we finish? I think we did. Because we just found the blue line, right? Yes, and the blue line is it, gonna be the, same. the same as X, so we found it. Okay. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. All right, let's do 11. Is this a 30, 60, 90 triangle, a 45, 45, 90 triangle, or neither? Neither. Neither. So we're going to actually have to do maybe sine and cosine a multiple times, or tangent multiple times. So we have, and you can only use, oh, I mean, the thing I should have stated, this has to be a right triangle to do anything. And so we have to use this right triangle here. We can't do sine, cosine, and tangent on just this big, huge one because it's not a right triangle. It only works for right triangles. All those ratios in your calculator for sine, cosine, and tangent are based on right triangles. All right, so we have to find, we're going to find this one first because it's shared between those two. And then we can use it to find X. So, um... We're going to have to use this triangle first to find, I'm going to call that Y, I guess. So we can use it to find X on the other triangle. So with the 43, are we going to use sine, cosine, or tangent? Cosine. I heard cosine. Is that true? Because it's opposite in hypotenuse. Is opposite in hypotenuse cosine? Wait, opposite. Sine. Sine. So we're going to use sine, which is opposite in hypotenuse. Okay. And so, let's get, uh, and do some of these things. All right, we're going to use Y here. And we said we're using sine because it's opposite in hypotenuse. So, sine of what? 43. Okay, equals what over what? Y over 49. All right, I agree. What are we going to do to solve that for Y? Y equals what? Multiply, well... Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The 49 and 43. Okay, I agree. You can just put that in your calculator. And we want one decimal on this first step. 33.4. 43.4. Is that what I heard you say, Brett? 33. 33. Thank you. Does anybody else get the same thing? I got the same thing. All right. Me too. Are we finished? No. No. No, we need to find X. So we right now know that this is 33.4. All right. How are we going to use that to find X? Adjacent hypotenuse? Adjacent and hypotenuse, I heard. Adjacent, is that true? Adjacent and opposite. I heard adjacent and opposite. Which one is it? It would be adjacent and opposite because the long one's the hypotenuse. Yeah, this one's the hypotenuse. Okay, so adjacent, I heard adjacent and opposite. Is that uh, sine, cosine, or tangent? Cosine. Or wait, opposite and never mind, tangent. Tangent, okay, so tangent, and I'm going to do OA. Tangent is opposite and adjacent, okay. So we're going to do tangent 
of what angle? 65. Yes. Five. Equals what over what? 353.4 over x. Okay, I agree. How are we going to solve for x? Switch the extremes. Yes, switch the extremes. So we're going to have 33.4 over tangent 65. 15.6. Please verify that for me with everybody else. Oh, wait, I did the backwards. What, what, what did you say? 15.6. I'm not finding it. That's what I got. All right, 15.6, that's what you got, Amy. Heidi, did you get that too? Yes, ma'am. Fantastic. Just once. Here we go. Are there any questions on that last one? I should bring it back up. Any questions on this one? This one was a little bit longer because we had to do sine or cosine tangent twice because we didn't have any 30, 60, 90, or 45, 45, 90 um, triangles. All right. You know what it means to solve a triangle, that you're going to just look for the pieces, and, and on your homework, they're going to tell you which pieces to look for. Um, you're just going to find all the pieces, and sometimes it means there might be multiple steps. Sometimes it means all the sides. Sometimes it means some of the angles using sine, cosine, and tangent. And um, we didn't actually do that, but you could use a squared plus b squared equals c squared at times, or you can maybe even make sure you, you might know them based on your um, Pythagorean triples. And your angles, you might have to use um, your, that backwards button sometimes, okay, on your calculator. All right, enjoy.